Hey guys, Gathering the Magic back again, Daily Rewards Claim. I know it's been a couple days. Um, haven't been able to get a whole lot of chests on my main account. Um, I pushed into gold. I really don't have a gold level deck, so it's been a struggle uh, getting enough points in gold 3. But have managed to get three chests for today. <coughs> Had three yesterday. Uh, nothing too exciting. So let's hope we get something other than 8 to 10 potions. Oh, there we go. Starting with an epic. So this is the first card, or first time I have this card. Oh, actually I have two of them. Great. So the dragon card, he has scavenge, costs one. Okay, great start. There we go. That's what I thought I'd get. Ten legendary potions and 0.195 SPS. So that's cool, getting two of an epic card. Especially one that I don't already have. Death is the focus for tomorrow. Let's go ahead and claim our SPS. And then head on over to the alt account. Uh, let me know in the feedback, guys, what you think of the new energy system. Um, I like it. I'm hoping to be able to use more of the energy, especially on my uh, $10 account, since I think it only costs one DEC per energy. So, being able to play a lot more matches per day only costs one DEC. I think it, it's going to be uh, a lot better than the old system, especially to get the full reward shares. Okay, so let's log out and go to the $10 account. I think I've got 10 or 11 chests here to claim. 11 chests. So as you can see, I'm down 31 out of 50 energy. Let me just take a quick peek. How much would it cost if I wanted to top up my energy bar? Like I said, I think it only costs one because I'm only in bronze right now. Not sure why the screen is not loading. Go ahead and refresh. But yeah, I do like the idea of the new energy system. There we go. So I've got 31 out of 50 energy. Oh, it's costing 10. Oh, it's because I pushed into silver last season. Okay, so it takes whatever the highest rank that you're either currently in or from last season, and that's your energy cost. Okay, so if I stay in bronze this season, next season when I go to purchase energy, it will only cost one. Okay, have to remember that. Okay, so let's go ahead and claim these 11 chests and see what we get. Okay, starting with a card, that's good. Fire collar, little SPS. Potion, SPS, two merits, another potion. So once again, not very many cards. Yep, so 11 chests and only one card. So let's go add that to the notes. So 11 chests, one card. So we have 116 cards now in 572 chests so nowhere near 33 percent so 33 percent i should be getting close to 200 cards so 100 and what 90 i should have 190 cards and i've got 116 so i'm about 75 74 cards under average okay so flying is the focus let's go ahead and check out the map um so on my main account I now have one plot in 43, one in 48, and one in area 51. Uh, we are currently, it looks like, getting towards the end of region 53. The next available region to purchase is 55. So we're starting to move a little bit closer to the middle of the map. I'm curious to see how much uh, will get claimed in the next week, especially if surveying is going to go live on April 4th. Let's take a quick look at the market, see where prices are at. 
I know DEC has been holding above that 80, and SPS has been hovering right around three cents. Yep, so DEC is at 82, SPS just under three. GLX has dipped under two cents. So I know a lot of people have been selling since it's been going down. I'm just holding and just restaking, um, especially for when the game goes live. So now might be the time to actually accumulate more at these low prices, swap some uh, SPS for GLX. Uh, Chaos, to me, surprisingly is low at 212. Thought it would be higher than that. Vouchers, nice little bump, 13 and a half cents. You guys know how I feel about vouchers. Uh, nightmare packs really not into the new tower defense game i think i had two packs um ages ago uh sold those for vouchers or sps just really not into the tower defense game it looks really cool but just not for me um plots 125 ish forgium great time to get forgium um, right now you can get a crate for just over a dollar um, this is supposed to be pegged at uh, the same as dec so it's supposed to be a thousand forgium or a dollar. Now a thousand forgium is only thirty-seven cents. So if you're interested in Splinter Forge, good time to pick up Forge to buy some crates. Uh, Rift Watchers holding strong above four fifty, four sixty uh, a pack. Uh, very slow sales. People are not willing to spend all the SPS just to buy one Rift Watcher pack. So for that reason, I think Rift Watchers is a great long-term hold um, simply if you look let's look at rift watchers and let's compare it to um, chaos legion and i'll show you my thinking on this so if you look at the rick rift uh, rich list for chaos legion or rift watchers if you're in the top 200 there's over 20 almost 2400 packs is the top 200 so there's a ton of people holding chaos legion look at rift watchers you can hold 100 packs and be in the top 200 so there are not very many people that are hoarding uh rift watcher packs especially with the front run being one-fifth of chaos legion and having to pay sps for it i still think rift watcher packs are a great long-term hold okay guys there you have it just a quick uh update today um Hopefully can get some more rewards for tomorrow. Like I said, I'm curious at the end of this season, going into next season on my $10 account, I'm going to try to play as many battles as I can. Um, definitely going to be playing hopefully over 50 battles, um, spending that little bit of DEC um, to get some extra battles to be able to get some more chests, um, especially with full uh, reward shares now that we are always at 100% ECR. Okay, guys, let me know in the comments again on what you think of the new energy system. If there's any new topics that you would like me to cover, either in Splinter Lange or Splinter Forge. And until then, I will see you again soon with another video. Take care.